The Chinese military's new Type 100 tank unveiled at last week's Victory Day parade in Beijing marks a fundamental shift towards intelligent, information-driven and unmanned warfare, they are capable of approaching the enemy in silence in specific environments. And its radars, infrared and laser warning systems can instantly detect incoming threats and deploy interceptor rockets, jammer grenades, or laser beams to counter them. By combining crude and uncrewed systems, and integrating weapons platforms, information networks, reconnaissance and situational awareness, the Type 100 tanks and their combat support vehicles will totally revolutionize future land battles. The Type 100 signals a deliberate move by the People's Liberation Army to rival the most advanced Western and Russian armor with a focus on automation and survivability. Unlike its predecessor, the new tank is reported to feature an unmanned turret, advanced radar, and an active protection system, according to state media, it integrates augmented reality tools and can perform coordinated combat. The new tank appears to be a direct leap into automated warfare, featuring an unmanned turret, a remote weapon station, and potentially artificial intelligence AI-driven coordinated combat capabilities. China showcased its new Type 100 main battle tank during its massive Victory Day parade, a platform state media is calling the nation's first highly intelligent armored vehicle. A companion fighting vehicle was even shown with a stowed quadcopter drone, hinting at integrated aerial reconnaissance. The new tank is smaller and lighter than the Type 99 main battle tanks that entered service in 2001. The Type 100 is driven by a diesel-electric hybrid power system that has improved mobility, all-terrain maneuverability, and reduced noise. They are capable of approaching the enemy in silence in specific environments. The Type 100 tank is equipped with a 105mm main gun rather than the more common 125mm guns. Despite its smaller caliber, the tank's unmanned turret with advanced fire control system and diverse ammunition options still delivers significant firepower and can be operated safely from inside the vehicle. There were more substantial design changes to the tank's protection. The Type 100 does not rely on thick armor but a mix of passive and active protection. But the biggest change is the high degree of informationization, which allows for better situational awareness and networked firepower coordination. Its turret has an irregular, multifaceted design that makes it harder to achieve a critical hit with incoming shells. They are capable of approaching the enemy in silence in specific environments. And its radars, infrared and laser warning systems can instantly detect incoming threats and deploy interceptor rockets, jammer grenades, or laser beams to counter them. The Type 100 signals a deliberate move by the People's Liberation Army to rival the most advanced Western and Russian armor with a focus on automation and survivability. They are capable of approaching the enemy in silence in specific environments, Wang Kun, a crew member of one of the new tanks in the parade, told state broadcaster CCTV after the event last Wednesday. China used its latest annual military parade to showcase a sweeping arsenal of new weapons, including the Type 100 main battle tank. Beijing state media is even touting the vehicle as the country's first highly intelligent armored transport model. With dozens of foreign dignitaries in attendance, Beijing rolled out advanced missiles, drones, lasers, and vehicles. The new tanks drew particular attention, not least because they indicate how the People's Liberation Army is attempting to leapfrog into the era of automated warfare. The Type 100, seen rolling behind older Type 99s, appears to be a direct evolution of China's third-generation design, itself modeled on the Soviet Type 72. Unlike its predecessor, the new tank is reported to feature an unmanned turret, advanced radar, and an active protection system. Perhaps most strikingly, state outlets claimed it integrates augmented reality tools and can perform coordinated combat. Reports on close-ups from the parade revealed a remotely operated weapons station above the main gun, this is a marked departure from the human-operated roof mounts of earlier Chinese tanks. The ability to narrow down crew exposure by automating secondary armaments aligns with wider global trends, particularly the lessons militaries are drawing from Ukraine, where drones and precision strikes have made exposed crews vulnerable. Beijing also introduced a companion Type 100 fighting vehicle, whose design includes what appeared to be a quadcopter drone stowed at the rear. Its inclusion hints at China's attempt to integrate aerial reconnaissance directly with ground armor. Naturally, the Chinese state media has celebrated these new tanks as a sign of their growing technological prowess. The lightweight tank is a departure from traditional armored vehicle design that emphasizes the race between thicker armor and stronger penetration. 
Instead, the People's Liberation Army has reportedly prioritized the integration of intelligence systems in response to developments in armored warfare in recent years, as seen in the war in Ukraine, where tanks have been targeted by drones. By combining crude and uncrewed systems, and integrating weapons platforms, information networks, reconnaissance and situational awareness, the Type 100 tanks and their combat support vehicles will totally revolutionize future land battles. But regardless, Beijing's public maneuvers mean something. If China is advertising its Type 100 as a fourth-generation platform, it is deliberately signaling its plans to rival Russian and NATO armor. The United States currently uses upgraded M1 Abrams tanks, which were originally rolled out in the 1970s. Russia's Type 14 Armada were designed in 2014, but only limited figures are in use. Yet in rolling out the Type 100 before a global audience, Beijing has highlighted where it wants its military reputation to go, more automation, more integration, and more high-tech survivability. China used its latest annual military parade to showcase a sweeping arsenal of new weapons, including the Type 100 main battle tank. Beijing state media is even touting the vehicle as the country's first highly intelligent armored transport model. The new tank is smaller and lighter than the Type 99 main battle tanks that entered service in 2001. There were more substantial design changes to the tank's protection. The Type 100 does not rely on thick armor but a mix of passive and active protection. The Type 100 is driven by a diesel-electric hybrid power system that has improved mobility, all-terrain maneuverability, and reduced noise. They are capable of approaching the enemy in silence in specific environments. Naturally, the Chinese state media has celebrated these new tanks as a sign of their growing technological prowess.